morning everyone so today I had a look out the side of my front window when I woke up this morning and realized how wet it was out here and as you can see the car is covered in water and it suddenly it made, made me think that I've been meaning to do a quick video about the water ingress issues I've had with my SLK so yes that's what I'm going to try and do today bit ad hoc not really planned it's a short and sweet video just to tell you the issues that I've had with my SLK and what I did to rectify them and perhaps it'll be something that you can use on your convertible so it's October um, 2023 and in here in the UK I live in Yorkshire and we've just had Storm Babette coming through which has brought a, a huge amount of rain to a lot of areas unfortunately my brother's been flooded out of his own house down in Chesterfield but it just as I say, made me realise how much water ingress I was getting in this car last year to a point that I started getting some quotes for work to be done to the seals so this this car leaks in three different places each car is obviously different but I'm just going to open up this car and you'll be able to see so thankfully my issues have almost resolved themselves but I get it in through the window down this seal here and that leaks in I then get it dripping from this point here on both sides and that leaks actually onto the seat and then I get it in the boot or I should say I do get it in the boot and it normally runs down here into this into these foot well these wells you can just see there's a bit of an outline where it's dried off on that side I do not get anything into my actual boot space here so yeah I'm moving indoors now just to be able to go through this with you so the to help identify precisely what was going on what I decided to do was get some A4 paper and some sellotape and basically I blocked out all the carpets um, I put it over the seat put it in the boot and basically left it there for a week when we were expecting quite a bit of rain so I could actually see where it was coming in from that highlighted the three issues that I now know about and then from there I proceeded to go out and speak to some guys to ask for some help so I went out and what you'll find is with this SLK and it might be the same with some other convertibles I don't know but I needed to actually see a proper specialist because with the Vario roof because of the way it automatically holds the brings the metal roof up to be able to do some work on the seals you actually need to be able to basically shut the roof off because if you leave it halfway up it automatically closes down after so after so long so, so a specialist needs to be able to shut it down and have some actual roof supports um, specific special specialist or supports so the issue I found looking for the specialist is that you they actually have to have the these proper supports and a lot of a lot of convertible specialists will not deal with the SLK with or with Vario roofs because they don't have them so I could only find four I found one there was there's one in Chester, uh, Chester that said he was prepared to have a look at it there was Mercedes themselves there was a place down south and also one in Pickering but they were very very full so I asked them for a rough idea of, oh sorry and there's a place in Leeds as well so I asked them for a rough idea of costs and I got from a thousand pounds up to three thousand pounds from Mercedes and all because obviously they have to do the water test they've got to work it out themselves so I went across to Chester to have a word with the cheapest guy and see what he thought and he started looking actually at the seals and said he reckoned he thought without doing a test that he'd do it for a thousand pounds but he would just change all the seals that's attached to the roof so I'm going to show some pictures now you can see there's, there's a seal that goes across the side 
where the window comes up, there's one that's a further on down on the back window, one across the back of the roof. So he was going to change those um, for a thousand pounds. Then the Leeds guy, he turned around and said that it could need all the seals changing and that he'd be about 15 to 1800 pounds because also the main seal running up and around the top of the windscreen that apparently is one seal that's about 300 350 before VAT so um oh that's what I got quoted I think last year but yeah so because of that I can't you know it's a four thousand pound four and a half thousand pound car at the moment it isn't I can't justify spending that kind of money straight out so so after seeing the specialist and whatever you pointed out that the route they could do with a clean as well and that it would charge for that so my first job was to clean them so I went out and bought this it's purely a paintbrush but quite a narrow one because as you can see from these photos, I realised that some of my seals were manky and green, and there was all, they, they were horrible. They really were. And what I'd realised is obviously, I'm, I'm, this car's been uh, had ceramic coat in. It's had a paint correction as well. So I realised was cleaning the outside and cleaning the inside. And it, in all honesty, it's something that I hadn't really looked at the seals that closely. And when I saw them it was quite a shot. So I actually spent about half a day only cleaning the seals with this, trying to get into every single nook and cranny. Then after that, I started looking at what I used to nourish the seals. So for the last, since I'd owned the car for the first four years, that is what I've been using. And it works a bit like a Pritt stick. So take the lid off, Pritt stick, pull it on the rubbers, and then use your finger, it makes it quite sticky. But when I was speaking to the guys on the SLK World Forum, which I'm a member of, uh, and this was not really recommended. This is the the cheap stuff. Even though it's a good brand, Sonics, good brand, cheap stuff. What I got advised to try was this from Sonics as well. So this is a a liquid that gets applied by a sponge. There's a little pinhole, bit like a, a paint tester kit. Push it on, squeeze a li just a little bit, get the, the sponge wet, and then go over all the seals. And what I did was I did this every month for four months after I cleaned the seals to try and get them nourished. And then this gets done about twice a year now. But as you can see from the results, it's worked. And that's that kind of brings us to the end of the video you need to clean it water is a nemesis for for any convertible but investing in something decent like this will make a difference the one other thing i do as well is i now keep one of these in my underneath the passenger seat so this is you can pick these up from any big supermarket i think it's 199 for a pack of four and it's a dehumidifier and I put keep this in primarily over winter just to keep any try and stop any moisture build up or mould. What I also do over winter anyway when I'm not using the car regular is I've got a cover that I put over it just to help try and keep most of the moisture wet out of it. But the car has to be perfectly clean before you can put the cover over it. So I'll only use that primarily sort of like from December to March, and then I've got to take part lift the cover off so they can at least run the engine just to keep the, everything charged up but yeah so that is what i'd suggest i hope it helps you and drop any comments very short video hope you enjoyed it all right i'll see you down the road for the next one cheers now